Hey everybody, it's Wade with IMA. Today we're going to be talking about how blood flows through the body. So when we're talking about how blood flows through the body, it's important to understand how the heart works. So to understand our heart, you have to understand there are four different chambers. There's going to be two atria and two ventricles, so four total. The atria are going to be the top two uh, chambers. The ventricles are going to be the bottom two chambers. And it's important to delineate the fact that the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart both have different functions. The right side of the heart takes the deoxygenated blood or the used up blood from the rest of the body and it'll then send it from the right atria down to the right ventricle. As that atria pumps, it pumps the blood into the ventricle, okay? So that right ventricle will then pump blood when it contracts into the lungs, where in the lungs you're going to have the oxygen CO2 exchange occur. This is going to re-oxygenate this blood so that when it recycles it's going to come in through the pulmonary artery, or excuse me, pulmonary vein into the left atria. Okay, So the left atria once again has now the oxygenated blood. That oxygenated blood is going to be pumped into the left ventricle and then from the left ventricle it's going to pump to the rest of the body through the aorta or the big artery that comes off of our heart. Now after it's been circulating through the body it's going to go into each and every tissue that we have. Every cell we have needs a few different things. Oxygen, fuel, and waste removal. So blood is how we, we activate this. This is how we um, do this process. So when it goes through the body, we will have in the capillaries, from arteries to arterioles to capillaries, they'll have that CO2 oxygen exchange, similar to in the lungs, but this is more for the body. This is going to be the cells. Okay. So once we have that, that exchange, that diffusion exchange, that now unoxygenated blood is going to return via veins. Now it's important to remember, veins go back towards the heart, arteries go away from the heart. So all of that deoxygenated blood or that used up blood is going to be going back through the veins and it's gonna return through either the inferior or superior vena cava. It just depends on what side of the body that blood's coming from. If it's coming from the head and shoulders and arms, that's gonna be the superior or the top of the heart vena cava. If it's gonna be coming from the legs and abdomen, it's going to be coming into the suit or the, excuse me the inferior vena cava okay and that's how it's going to recycle in through that atria on the right side now important to note like i said this is a double paired pump so as the atria contract both of them are going at the same time same thing as when the ventricles contract they both contract at the same time so it's lub dub right lub is the atrial contraction dub is our ventricular contraction so this is all happening at the same time we're bringing in spent blood and sending out oxygenated blood all at the same time. And it's important to note this because when we're talking about circulation, we're talking about perfusion, these are important things to understand. And it will help you understand as well with the blood flowing, if we have a blood clot moving, if we have some sort of obstacle or blockage moving through our vasculature, oftentimes if you can follow the highway of how the blood recirculates through the body, you have a solid guess about where it's gonna end up. So that's how blood flows through our body. Hopefully you guys were able to take something from this video. As always, everybody, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.